Let's go back to make them go through the spikes. Nice. They are dying on the spikes, which is good. So let's keep going. Let's keep going around the spikes. Oh, look at that. Bodies are piling up. Lovely. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games for cakes and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. You might be wondering what you're looking at. Yes, this is not a building episode. Oh, what's going on? Yes, um, Alpha 13 is taking the longest time ever, so I'm trying to spice things up. And I have the Nomad series going, which I kind of put in the back burner for a while because it kind of got to a point where you're doing the same over and over and over. Um, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but I just want to try new things out, you know, and practice a little bit, you know, to my skills as well. So in between the building, what I want to do is at least as a mini series, a series for now, uh, alternating with the building and then see how it goes. And if you guys like it, you know, I can continue it. I'm going to call this the challenge mode. So I started by saying restore mode to default. Dif difficulty settings is going to be on insane. Um, everything else default left in the standard options. In the modded options, I'm doing the 25 hour cycle but default is 50 minutes but I gonna give myself 60 minutes because I always play 60 minutes 7 25 hour cycle I left everything else by default I put the enemy memory up to 90 seconds I put the enemy spawning up to very high and I don't do the crafting timers and loot timers because I'm just gonna cut them out anyway and it just saves me the hassle of editing them out to be honest um, so but again that's what we're gonna try and everything lost on death I was going to say tool build only because I'm thinking if we have accepted the fact that there's a magic scenario where you get knocked out instead of killed by the zombies and they move on, they might only take your backpack because they're ravages or destroy it or whatever. And the things on your belt, which are on your body, they might not actually get to. But that's something I wasn't sure of, you know. Uh, anyway, you can, you can let me know your thoughts. So without further ado, let's get started. And here we are, beautiful forest spawning. Very nice. So, oh, by the way, also that I don't level up that fast, I have literally set all crafting experience points to zero. So I will not gain a single experience point, experience point from crafting. The only time I get experience now is from killing zombies or killing anything, to be honest. So let's start by doing the corn. We don't really need the, the this yet. So stones. And anybody who hasn't actually watched Seven Days to Die yet and is seen this for the first time, you know, this is how you usually would want to start, no matter what difficulty level you play. And let me see if I can find straight away a road. So let me see where zero zero is because I don't really want to necessarily go to zero zero. I want to avoid probably towns for the moment just so we know where it is. It's over here and it's down here. Okay, we can go the general direction. There we go. There's zero, zero. Ah, it's approximate, it doesn't matter. So we go into that general direction, hope we come across the road and then we just will, will avoid the town and go from there. Now the game in general, I think is programmed to not really bother you too much with zombies until you're level five, which is good, seeing that the only way we level up is um, Okay, let's just use our hands. We got a stick and a bit of grass. There we go. Another stone. Because the first thing you want to do is always, if you haven't, uh, as I said already, if you haven't really followed the beginnings of a seven days to die, is you want to get your basic tool going, which is your stone axe. And it will be a crappy level because yeah, quality one. Because you're level zero, basically. Or if, are you level one or zero in the beginning? I actually don't know. Level one. So you can craft, theoretically, up to level quality 50. And we're going to collect all these um, cloth, because cloth is what we need to make uh, our first set of armor. In scene, we're playing on insane, um, which means zombies do 200% damage. And I do, I think, 25% damage to the zombies then uh, from the average. Is that a hollow tree? Nice. Oh, yes. We found a little bit of food already, which is very nice. Okay, so let's get some sticks with that. And actually, let's get a tree down first. The first thing, I want to go at least one tree. 
Maybe I shouldn't have taken the biggest one, but we'll see. Now this is not going to be Nomad, this is not going to be, this is plain and simple playthrough. If I find a prefab that it can hold out for the night, I will do that. If I have to run through the night, I will do that. If I have to fight zombies at night, I will do that. So this will be everything. The only thing you might get is see that's being cut out is if I do searching around without any anything interesting happening. Okay, so now we don't need the maple seeds for now. Let's craft this and let's make a couple of wood spikes. Let's make more of those. And let's start thinking about making a weapon. A wooden club will do for now. There you go, quality 54. Very nice, very nice. So we can start with that. And of course, we want to get to arrows and we want to make our, at some stage, bow, which we need. Um, wooden bow, which we need still some grass. Okay, so. Now again, this is only going to be a mini-series uh, to begin with, and if you guys don't like it, you know, I will alternate the mini-series with uh, the building series, because it gives me a chance then to actually work on the building series for a little bit of camera in between episodes. And because it is taking an awful long time to prepare each episode and uh, to plan things out. So at least every evening I can play then for about 25 minutes, half an hour and prepare for the every second day recording, which is great. Okay, so let's see what is up the hill here. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. So much cloth. So much cloth. And let's just get the crossbow going as well. And let's put that here, just in case we get surprise attacked. And what this is for is cloth. Straight away make a sleeping bag, which we're going to put down as soon as we, oops, as soon as we can. We're going to get a little bit more cloth. And in future, I will cut out these uh, collection uh, things because they're not really of much interest. We're gonna get a little bit of stone actually from this stone first Which gives us the chance to get a little bit more stone than the standard pickup stones And then we're gonna make some arrows because we're gonna need them. We're gonna do very little damage So even with bows and arrows we might want to avoid actually zombies Now in the meantime, while we do all this collecting, um, I have seen the latest Tumblr updates on Alpha 13. I have seen the zombie models. Um, people keep like ask me occasionally, like saying, "Oh, have you seen the update? Have you seen the update?" And because I don't do vlogs, it's very hard for me to. Um, actually, oh, the only reason I'm going to craft a new one is because I want to see if we get a better quality one. What do we have here? Quality 52. Brilliant. So we can do that once this is broken. There you go. And now we get the rest. Excellent. This is much faster now because it's quality 54, which does a little bit more entity damage, which is always nice. And I think it should keep things interesting if we're not leveling up that quickly because crafting, like crafting experience in, in general, I find kind of a bit weird because like I, like, sorry, let me rephrase that. The, the experience gain in general in this game I find a bit weird. It's like many other games do the same thing, so it's not just Seven Days to Die. I always think if you do some specific task, you shouldn't level up in skill for an unrelated task. Because say if I kill 100, 200 zombies with a bow, I should skill up in my bow skill. And But it doesn't all of a sudden make me a better carpenter, or it doesn't make me a better um, pistol shooter. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that. We have some zombies there, so ooh, there's going to be lots of cloth. So what we might want to do here is we're going to get some... We're going to get a harder melee weapon. Let me see. Reinforced club. Let's do that. Let's hope it's good quality. Yes, and let's leave that here as a backup, and let's make some arrows. Nice. And now we can charge our first arrow. Nice. Okay, so let's continue gathering some resources. Let's hope we find some more bird's nests. And then we're going to sneak up on these guys and we're going to try to take them. Actually, we should probably get a little bit of armor first. And let's stay un uh, hidden, actually, because I can hear already their footsteps. And I can hear already their 
<laughs> the mo moaning and groaning and yawning. And I didn't mean to pick up that golden rod. That bear sounds so awfully close, but I think the bear is actually pretty far away. Okay, so also what we want to do is when we kill a zombie, I think... Um, I always mix that up before with the zombies alerting other zombies when they die, saying, hey, I died, you know, let's go attack this guy. But then you see I'm still undetected, but they're coming right for me. And I think the reason that is, is if I kill a zombie right here, other zombies are attracted to the noise and they come to that location. So if you actually stay there, of course they're going to find you. But if you actually move away, you will probably find that the zombies go to where the body died rather than follow you. Okay, so I'm talking too much, so let's make some more cloth because what we want to do is definitely get some chest armor going and some leg armor if we can. Ooh, we need more cloth for the leg armor, so let's make um, some... Yeah, let's cover the head. That's always a good idea. And always click that little star to save your current look and feel. And actually, we can make plant fiber pants. Um, will we bother wasting the plant fiber? Ah, yeah, why not? Better than nothing. So we do the plant fiber pants and... Um, oh, actually, they're, they're put here, so... We still can put the actual leather uh, cloth legs on top if we if we want to, which is very good. So let's again continue collecting cloth while considering to attack the zombies. And we definitely want to keep an eye out for birds' nests. Okay, there's one over there. Let's see if we can... Mm, she's not really seeing us, so we don't have to panic just yet, I think. Okay, picking up these plants is actually quite difficult when you're crouched. There we go. Nice. Let's pick up that rock. And I can't see any more bird's nests. It's a pity. Oh, there's a lot more cloth over there. Okay, because it's the first episode and it's the beginning, we need the cloth, we need the armor. So, I'm not going to take any of that yet. I know I will need glue later, but I also want, even though while I'm not playing Nomad, I kind of don't want to get into the habit of hoarding everything again. So, I want to stay away from that. Did we get already detected? No. Okay. Oh no, snow zombies. They are hardcore. These guys are really rough. You want to stay away from them. I mean, the, the lumberjacks, they're even tougher than the fat guys. They're, they're, oh man, they are tough. So let's bring, let's make the rest of the armor and then go and see if we can take some of them on. Okay, come on. Nice. Oh, there's one more. And there's another garbage bag. Oh, is that the garbage bag we already came across? It's the one we came already across. Okay, so we want to stay away from the snow biome in the beginning. So let's make some um, legs. Cloth leg armor. And if you look now here, you can see you can wear both plant fiber and cloth legs, which is a nice little bonus in defense, even though it only gives you one or whatever. It gives you one uh, addition, only the plant fiber. But anyway, so you can see I currently have no experience because I haven't killed anything. And all the crafting in the world is not going to change that, which is great. So here we go. We have some cloves now as well. And all we're missing now is the boots, which is fine. So we're not really too fussed about that. Let's go up and have, have a look at what zombies we have here. And... Um, if we can get into the camping site, because the camping site means potentially canned food, potentially a gun, actually, even a full gun, a full pistol. There's a lot of potential here, like, to already start getting good loot in the beginning. And I hear a lot of footsteps, so that's not good. So let's leg it over here a little more. I know I'm running, and I shouldn't, but I want to avoid... Any zombies, if I can. So, I don't like coming from the hill, from the bottom of the hill, because it always makes it very difficult to gauge where the zombies are. Okay. Oh, there's one right, right there behind the stone. Let's see if we can sneak into the camp without actually being detected. 
I don't see a zombie anywhere here. Is there anyone here? Oh, this is good. This is good. I like it. We might actually be able to just sneak our way into the tent. Oh, we actually managed to sneak in like that. That is awesome. Let's make it a bit bigger, though. And ooh, we don't want to take the meat because that smells. And right now, zombies being, being attracted to me is not a good thing. So let's get the dead body. Dead body. Oh, a bag. Nice. Okay, so we're going to keep these pants. We're going to put this on. Oh, I'm sensed. So... What? Is that a dog? I swear I could hear a dog. Oh, it's a bear and there's a zombie. Yep, okay, she's seen... No, she actually hasn't... She sensed me for a second there. And then she didn't. Nice, that's good, that's good. Ah, no, she is, she is on to us. Okay, let's go for the double damage bonus if we can. And I can hear someone else sneaking up on me already. Let's just slowly back up. Oh, there's the other lady. We're not getting the double damage anyway, so screw that. And let's go for some melee attack, but we want to be on on the at least the same level than her or higher. You can see this is a tough fight. Oh, and look how much health I'm losing right away. That was a lot of... Um, I don't actually need any of that yet. Is there anybody else here? No? Okay. Oh, she has a couple of friends coming over there. And one of the lumberjacks. Oh, man. Okay, we're level two. That is lovely. That is lovely. And now the other zombies are coming. And there's a crawler. So let's just skedaddle here because I think half of these zombies up there actually don't know where I am they're just following the noise and that's what I was saying earlier they're just following the noise they heard when the other zombies were fighting though I think the crawler is pretty much on my tail oh they're actually all on my tail how wonderful well there's no there's no point fighting we might as well just take the long road around I have to make some boots anyway We don't want to run into the bear. So we're going to avoid these guys if we can, possibly. See if we can find a little bit more loot. Come on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, there was a medical kit. Ah, okay, empty. Let's see what the car has. Okay, a light. I'm just going to grab everything in the moment because I'm in kind of a rush. And I really want to get out of the snow biome if I can. That's definitely something I want to do. Get out of the snow biome. Okay, avoid the zombies. Pick up as much cloth as possible and stone. And keep an eye out again for bird's nests. I'm repeating myself intentionally so that it kind of is, especially for the people who are newer to the game, that they remind themselves on that. Okay, so let me see. There's still loads after me, so let's just try to avoid them. Run a little bit out and see if there's a... There is a POI. I hope that leads to a road here. Okay, so there's a path down there. Oh, there's another campsite. Wow. And there will be more zombies. <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting indeed. Okay, there's a bag over there, so let's see if we can quick loot that. Nice. And I think we're getting into the clear here. There's a house over there, really lovely. Now I'm going to try to lose the guys that are following me in the moment. Um, by simply running a little bit and then hiding. And then walking the long way around. So hopefully... Oh, bird's nest. Nice. Oh, no feathers. That was not nice. <laughs>
Okay, I think I lost them. Oh, there's this nurse over there. Come on. Nice. Oh, come on, that was right through the head. Nice. Ah, she didn't have anything interesting on her. Okay, I know there was a house over there, and there's more zombies here. Wow, okay, I should definitely get out of the forest. There's way too many of them. So let's see. One, two, s three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight, wow. I couldn't loot her because the guys were coming too fast. And they are coming from everywhere, which is kind of insane. Okay, let's see if I can loot, the, loot her quickly. Yep, thank you. Oh, there's a crawler. Crawlers, you gotta be careful, especially on insane, because when they hit you, they not only damage you insanely, they also um, break your ankle most likely. Okay, so let's just try to get a bit of distance between us and walk around the back to get into the house because I think that house will be our first place where we're gonna take it a bit easy and let's see if we can hide Whew. okay so let's make some more arrows nice that's lovely and we have enough stones to make a campfire okay I'm still undetected that's good but I'm sensed now can I go behind the rocks? Because that should surely get rid of my me being sensed. If I they follow me for 90 seconds. I raised that as well from 60 seconds. So zombies are gonna well they don't follow you necessarily, but they have a memory of 90 seconds. Which basically means if they think you're somewhere wherever they noticed you last, they will be walking. And Oh, there's the house. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to clear out these guys here preferably but there's quite a lot okay that's good i'm gonna throw out most of that stuff again i just right now don't have the time to um okay so let's see this zombie there we can ignore and these three we might want to take on with some spikes so let's say hello they haven't even noticed me yet that is insane. They have not noticed me. Wow. Come on. If I get the killing shot, that's great. If not, then I'm okay with that as well. This is more about getting rid of them than anything else. Okay, guys, yes. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go through the spikes. Because... Oh, shit! You see, the spikes still should do the same damage than before. It's me that's doing less damage. Oh, and look, they're all coming out to play now. Quickly check behind me. Oh, quickly, I'm bleeding out. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so... Let's go back to make them go through the spikes. Nice, they are dying on the spikes, which is good. So let's keep going, let's keep going around the spikes. Oh, look at that, bodies are piling up, lovely. I like it. Okay. So let's hope... I always have to check behind me. Nice. Okay, I didn't really need that. Oh, there's Crawler. Oh, no, he's dead as well. Lovely. I like it. I like it. I like when they all end up dead like that. Okay, 
there's the big guys coming. Are they nearly dead? Nice, he just died as well. Sweet. Oh, painkiller tablets, lovely, love it. Come on. All right, okay, so I think that was a very good uh, start. Um, we definitely have our new friends, the woodlock, the woodlock spikes. We don't want to keep them. Oh, okay, my, my, my bow is now screwed. Come on. All right, okay. Ooh, nice. Let's throw out some of that rubbish right now that I don't need in the moment. That's, I already have a backup and, oh yes, lovely. All right, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the idea of this. Um, this is not going to be a normal. This is going to be literally starting anew. It was a bit of a challenge, making it a bit tougher and see how it goes. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the ass like a gaming ninja. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.